Hi everybody, Adam Savage in my cave. I know, wearing a gray shirt. I don't know why I did that this morning. Um, never really happens, but uh, I have a lot of things happening in the shop right now. There's a lot of stuff all over the place and I need to move it around. And the very first thing I wanna do, I bought this belt sander. I bought a, what is it? A six by 48 belt sander on um, Craigslist for a song. I felt like I need, I know, I have one, two, three, I have three big sanders over there and I still feel like I need more. Sanders are just one thing that I don't think I ever have enough of. <clears throat> so I'm going to, it's arrived, it's a little bit wonky, it needs some tightening up and uh, I'm gonna, what's that in my hair? It does nothing, it's just an artifact of the light. Uh, I'm gonna fix up this so-called belt sander and just get it up and running it into place. And then I'm gonna tackle some other shop infrastructure stuff. So right now, I've gotten it down to its most constituent parts. It's in good running shape. The motor's in good shape. <coughs> it feels like it's, uh, doesn't feel like anything's out of balance there. So now I'm actually going through and uh, on the channel, you might, watchers of the channel might remember that I recently picked up a whole bunch of stainless hardware. So I'm replacing all of the hardware on this thing with some good stainless hardware. Yeah, moving my way up through it.
There it is. That's what I wanted. Excellent. All right, so uh, what I've done so far is, sorry, so what I've done so far to make this uh, operate a little more quietly, here we go. Yeah, it was rattling. It was rattling because these edges were rattling and also uh, the underplate was rattling. So I put nylon screws between the motor and the, motor, the base plate. I put some wood washers between the base plate and the stand. Uh, I've added a, a central pin to kind of keep that, that plate from vibrating. And now I'm ready to start rebuilding it again. Here we go. make this exactly square. I think there's um, a lot of forgiveness in a belt, but <clears throat> it doesn't hurt to make it square. So I'm going to. back to health. All right. Well, I think we can uh... Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Okay. So Okay. Hmm. Bearings still feel totally perfect. Nope, not long enough. Oh, that doesn't work.
<laughs> Are you bent out a little bit? Really? All right, wait a minute. I think I do need to take this apart completely. Crazy. So what I've got is, I've got a really nice uh, aluminum angle plate here, and I'm going to use that to square up, I'm going to use that to square up this surface to this surface, and I'm going to get level on that center line as best as I can, and that should bring me into the zone that I want. Yeah, that should really do it. Um, so. That is, and that is, yeah, that is within, it's within 20 thousandths of level across this whole thing. I don't need quite that much. So we're going to, yeah, I think that's going to make this all kind of work. So what I've got here is I've got a main belt table in which its primary interface with the motor, this plate here has been bent up like this. Now, I don't want to heat this and bend it back down. I don't want to stress the cast iron that's not in my purview here. And this thing definitely was dropped on its head. I found a weld repair. Um, so what I want to do is I actually just want to use this carbide uh, facing tool, insert facing tool, and flatten this out. When I flatten this out, this plane will be square and relatively square, plus or minus like five sheets of paper uh, across this. And given that the bearings already worked in these holes when they're slightly out of alignment, I am not worried I think that there's enough forgiveness in the bearings that I can get this back together. So I'm just going to flatten this off and here we go. Yeah, see that? That's the shit.
Yeah, it's not perfect, but that is something I wasn't able to do on most of my other sanders. That's not bad. That's a little bit better. Um, yeah, I know I'm kind of void there, uh, but uh, this is just a this is just a practice spear tip. Uh, I'm very happy. This is a lovely addition to the shop. Uh, I needed a bigger surface belt sander. Now I have one. Uh, it. I like how quiet it runs. Uh, I'm going to install. Actually, I'm going to bounce that belt. Hold on. Put it in place, shall we? Thank you guys for joining me for this uh, tool fix up. There's nothing I like better than making my tools better and more useful to me. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and go home. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick my measuring forearm uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body because I use mine every single day.